Hi guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've had a weird day today. Hi, hello, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Anime Expo in Los Angeles. So I attempted to vlog my experience at Anime Expo because I was really excited about it and I wanted to share my first experience and um, it ended up being a lot different than what I had expected. So I am just going to give you the footage that I did take and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the um, experience that I had. So here's the vlog footage and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Focus. Hey guys, what's up? So um, I woke up this morning and I had no plan of going to Anime Expo today and then I was like, I'm gonna go. Um, I've been having car issues so I was like, I'm not gonna go because I need to figure out this thing with my car, it's expensive, but it's Anime Expo and I've never gone before and now that I'm living in LA County I really want to go so I'm going with Lauren and one of her friends and yeah we're just I'm just gonna go casual and have a good time and see what I find and I'm gonna vlog so I just parked in the parking garage and um, I have no idea what the rates are and I am like really scared to go back down there and find out that I'm going to pay a million dollars to be in here but um, I'm just waiting for Lauren. Driving into LA only took like 25 minutes so that was like really crazy. I guess it's because it's July 4th and everybody is busy doing their own thing so um, yeah I'm just going to wait for Lauren to arrive and then we're gonna, I guess, go check out the convention because I don't think that their hotel room is gonna be ready. We found it. Oh, I don't know how to zoom on this. That could have been us. That could have been us. <laughs> but, okay. Inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're waiting in line. We made it. Here's the line. What? <laughs> we have really some. Ends over there somewhere. And um, yeah, there it goes. Let's time it. We can tell you how long it takes. Update it was 1:38. Yeah, and we got here at probably about 12:30, so an hour and eight minutes. And we are not very close. So probably will be another hour to an hour and a half before we get our badges. I don't know. Jeez, I don't know. So close. Yet so far. <laughs> you should have salvaged him. I'll get that. <laughs> Everybody smells like con funk, including me. Right? I am con funk. Oh, look at the house flags. Ooh. Damn. That's tempting. Those are cute as shit. That's neat. Yeah. What's that one? <laughs> Hi. Oh my god. I tell you, your hand wash, you get pissed. Is it a water bottle? No, no. Oh. Is it like a. I don't know. A water bottle? Perhaps. <laughs> no answers. I like that one too. So it took us five hours to get in here. Finally in here and the exhibition hall is closing in like an hour. Oh, this is how I feel. That. That's me right now. I think it's a little piggy bank. Aww. 
This one has boba in it. <sighs> this one, yeah, it says matcha and an avocado. Oh, they do have orange ones. Those are the exact same ones that I have. I know. <laughs> yeah, but they don't have matching ears. Lame. I have one ears too. What? Oh, look, it's those bags that like are supposed to look like. Oh yeah. Look weird in like 2D bags. <laughs> girl now. <laughs> I love this shit. Watch it right there. <laughs> Ninja Girls, Moe Ninja Girls. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> there are a lot of people. Is this a bad forever to take some of those stickers off? So, yeah, it's crazy. Yes. That's cute. So cute. It's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Feeling it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed those few minutes of vlog footage from my very first anime expo. Okay, so let me just talk a little bit about the experience that I had and how I felt about what occurred at Anime Expo 2019. So I'm not bashing anybody, I'm not complaining, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't go and have this experience on your own. This is just my personal experience and my personal opinions about what happened on July 4th, 2019. So as you can tell from the vlog footage, we got there. Um, I think we got there maybe around noon. To me, I've been to a lot of anime conventions as well as like comic conventions, um, gaming conventions, music conventions, etc. I have an, a pretty wide experience with that type of thing. I understand that lines are inevitable and I was expecting to have to stand in a line up to around two hours even. I was okay with that. It was really hot. I've been in hotter situations. Go to Otakon, deadly. Um, anyway, so it was hot, it wasn't horrible, it was bearable, but we got there around noon and expected to be in line for a few, one or two hours maybe, you know, get our badges and then go and enjoy the convention. I was only able to be there for one day and it was very last minute for me, so I didn't purchase my tickets online. I was just gonna go and buy them there. So we got there around noon, which we had assumed would give us enough time to get our badges and then go back to our hotel and check into the hotel as check-in was at 3 p.m. I wasn't even going to be staying the night, I was just gonna be driving back home um, because it, we only live like a half hour away. The biggest thing that occurred for us was that we were in line for maybe four to four and a half hours. We never even completed being in line technically because once we got to the end of the line, well, almost the end of the line, where they started separating people into other lines, which you probably would have stood there for at least like another hour. Once we got to the end, I was so done with the situation because they were closing down everything within like an hour. So I think that like the um, vendors section and like the merchandise section was closing around 6 p.m. and it was already like 4.30. And if we stood in line any longer, it would probably would have been like 5.30. I had talked to a few of the volunteers there, asked questions like what is going on? Like, is there any kind of discount that's being given to people that are only able to be there on day one because tickets were $85 for one day. Pun. 
He is trying to talk to the, to the neighbor's cat right now and he's calling at the window. That was really cute. <laughs> So I asked a few people, like, are we able to get a discount? Like, we're only going to be able to experience, like, most of the stuff that was going on that I wanted to experience for maybe an hour. And I've been standing here for four and a half hours, and it might even be five and a half hours. All of the volunteers, all day long, had no clue what was going on. They had no access to somebody that did know what was going on because nobody knew what was going on. And I felt really bad, and I understand that it's not their fault. They by no means like had any control over the situation. They were just doing what they were told. But I talked to multiple volunteers that were like, I don't know what I'm doing. And apparently like a couple hundred volunteers just like up and left because they were so frustrated and fed up with what was going on. And once we were at the end of the line, a girl told me that, a girl that had already had her badge but was standing in line with her friend, um, who was waiting to get her badge, she said that she waited three to four hours just to get into the convention after she had her badge because of security checks. So at that point, we were already at the end of the line and we were like, well, what the heck are we supposed to do? Like, if we buy our badges and pay almost $100, to get our badge for one day and then we can't even get into the convention before everything starts closing down is like, I just wasted my whole July 4th standing in line for an anime convention and didn't even get to experience any of it. So there was all this conflict and we asked multiple volunteers and they would just point us to another place, point us to them, point us to them, that these people will help you, these people will help you. But there was nobody that could ever help me and then in the end all, I spoke to somebody and I was like, well, can you give us a discounted ticket because we're only going to be able to experience what we wanted to experience for one hour and that's not enough time to even go through like the merchandise hall. It's not. It's a huge hall. There's so much to see, so much to do, and there was no time. So how is that fair? Why was there no guidance? Like the second that we got there, there were just lines everywhere and nobody knew what the lines even were for. There was nobody telling people, oh, like, this is the line that you need to get into for this. This is the line that you need to get into this. And for the, nobody knew. There was no help. There was, nobody was helping. And I don't think that it was necessarily the volunteers' fault. Again, they were just doing as they were told, but they weren't being given any proper information. It just, mm. <sighs> Finally, um, we decided to just buy our tickets online because they were cheaper than buying them in the line. But in the beginning, we were unaware of that. And we ended up getting the line to just purchase the tickets there and then just go through, get our badges, whatever. We weren't aware that there was a price difference initially until like halfway through. And then we were like, well, we've already been standing in this line for two hours. Like we might as well just go through this because the other line looked like it was even longer than this line. So we just had no idea, like, and there was actually a volunteer that came up to us, well, it was like going through the line and like talking to people and saying, oh, like just letting you know, if you just buy your tickets online, then you can get in that line. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to be waiting longer than you're going to be like, waiting here. She genuinely was like, I'm not making any guarantees and I can't guarantee anything. I'm just letting you know that there's potential for it, for it to go faster and smoother, but she didn't she couldn't say that it was gonna be any faster and that genuinely it was faster it would have made sense for people to do that but by the length of the line it was like going around the convention center nobody knew what was going on there was no help there was no help there was no structure it was really bad and i was really frustrated and i was really sad because i took my day off to go to a convention and essentially just get disappointed. And then to find out that I might not even be able to get into the convention after standing in line all day long and paying $100 for a badge that's completely worthless was really frustrating. And I understand that, you know, it's not all their fault. Like I was, I didn't plan ahead. It was a very spur of the moment thing for me. I, in the morning, whenever I woke up, I wasn't even planning on going, but I was really excited because I was, I've always wanted to attend this convention and see what it's about. And I also wanted to, get some cool merchandise because I'm a nerd. That was the line experience. We ended up buying our tickets online and getting into the convention about an hour before 
everything closed down. So we pretty much just sprinted through the like merchandise area. It was really cool. It was really big. There was a lot to see. I feel like I really missed out on a lot of stuff that I wanted to see. I was walking around the convention with no makeup on, no nothing. I felt really crusty and gross because I was standing outside all day long. I just, it wasn't a great experience for me, but I do wish that I would have had more time and I wish that it could have been a good experience for me. I do think that if I would have gone the next day or the next few days, then I would have had a much better time. Um, but I couldn't do that because I had to work like a normal human being. Essentially, I think that I could have had a lot better time if I would have had the time to have a good time. But because of the lines and because of the disorganization and because of the lack of empathy, empathy for the fact that you made people stand in line there, I heard and read stories about adults bringing their kids that had to stand in line all day long. Like you can't, you can't do that to people. There was just a lack of organization and I did read that last year was not like that and that everything went really smoothly. So I don't know what happened this year and I am bummed out that this was my first experience. This isn't to say that I won't try to go next year and actually plan ahead and you know get my badges maybe in the mail or something. Next year will be better and I also hope that maybe the rest of the weekend was a little bit better because I was only there on Thursday, day one, so again like I really only had that experience. So Anime Expo, I hope that you got your shit together and that next year things will be better because I think a lot of people were really disappointed in their experiences um, when it came to LineCon. Wasn't expecting to spend my 4th of July at LineCon. The convention was huge, it was beautiful, it was really cool, like there were so many brilliant cosplayers there. In other news, I did get a few really cute things while I was there, so I'm gonna show you guys those things and then I'm gonna end this video because there's nothing else for me to really say. I only got a couple things, like legitimately three things uh, because I didn't really have a lot of time. The first thing that I got that I am like obsessed with is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It is like so cute and literally so comfortable, but it's a Pun Pun shirt, which is my favorite manga series, Pun Pun. Um, that's why my cat's name is Pun Pun. And yeah, so it's just a striped shirt like he wears in the manga. And then it has this little Pun Pun embroidery right here and they also had like the dark pun pun like the like evil pun pun with like the eye patch and like it's black with the horns and on the same shirt it was really cute but i prefer the little cute child pun pun i don't know i also got a really cute pin if you don't know i am a final fantasy fan and moogles are like my favorite thing ever i got this little moogle pin he's so cute He's like a little um, cotton candy moogle pin. That's why he's like supposed to be cotton candy, I think at least. And last but not least, I got this little mushroom. Um, it's like a hair clip you put in your hair. I have a little leaf one from another anime convention and I was like, it's a mushroom. So it's really cute and it was like a dollar. So pretty much like, you know, you just put it in your hair and then you have a mushroom on your head, so. <laughs> I'm an adult. Yeah, I don't think that there was a whole lot else to to talk about. Um, I definitely think that Anime Expo has a lot of potential to be a really great convention. It is claimed to be the largest uh, like anime otaku convention in the country. So I just hope that maybe next year is better and that they can figure out you know, there are issues with registration and um, just helping people in general because there were a lot of people there and there were a lot of frustrated people there. So yeah, um, I hope the best for them and I will hopefully be checking out the convention next year and hopefully it'll get better next year. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up and comment below if there's anything in specific that you'd like to see from me on my channel. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.